Now, Charles Darwin, the founder of their religion, said, and I quote, he said, often a cold shudder has run through me, and I have asked myself whether I have devoted myself to a fantasy. Now, if somebody's gonna found this science and then say, oh, I'm worried I might have come up with a fantasy, do you think he really believes what he's even saying to begin with? Oh, I'm kind of worried that this might be a fantasy. You know what, Jesus never did that. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. He spoke with firmness and he didn't go, oh, maybe this is a fantasy. No, he said, it's the real thing. Amen. Christianity is the real thing, folks. Right. And I'm sick and tired of people saying, well, we need to believe Char they have the Darwin fish eating the Jesus fish, yet Darwin didn't even know if his world was a fantasy or not. Yeah. How can you base truth off of what you think could be a fantasy? Yeah. How, why would you even, anybody that has his little fish on the back of their car, that person might as well just tell me, I can't think for myself. Yeah. Darwin had to do it for me. Yeah. Now, before we push that big button in the control booth, before we vault up to that video viewer in the sky and on the cable, before we stop with this long introduction to the number one great discovery in science so far, I just want to point out that this one is controversial. This one gets people's hackles a hacking. No matter how you feel about it, bear in mind that our next number one discoverer came across some things in nature that surprised him and he tried to explain what he saw. It's not the story of a guy just trying to cause trouble. It's the story of the guy who made what you and I consider the number one discovery in science so far. 